Nice to have you, boys. How did, how did the trade land with you when you heard about it? Uh, in terms of what? Just your initial thoughts on getting traded from the Warriors? Um, yeah, I talked to my agent uh, on draft day. You know, a lot of moves happen on draft day. Um, this kind of was preparing if something would happen. Uh, we got a call. Um, the trade went down later that day, later on draft night. Um, and then that was just the news. Ku said he'd see some parallels between what he's gone through the last two years and the opportunity you now have. Do, do you see the same thing? And, and what do you think about the opportunity you have in D.C.? Yeah, um, it's really cool to see Ku's uh, flourish in D.C., you know, kind of opening up his game and becoming the player that he is. And uh, being able to get the opportunity, you know, open your game, play, um, lead a culture, lead a team, uh, franchise and organization, it's a really good challenge. You know, and I'm, I'm so glad Ku's is back to be able to have that duo. Um, he knows the lay of the land a little bit, so... It'll be, it'll be awesome to play next one. How do you look back on your time with the Warriors? Uh, it was good. It was good. Got a ring. Um, was able to do some life-changing stuff. Um, met a lot of amazing people. You know, uh, Being able just to learn what I did from there and uh, apply it not only to real life, but to the basketball court. Uh, it's something I look forward to doing. Did you see Steph's message? Yeah. Um, yeah, I talked to Steph uh, prior to that. and um, you know, He's the leader of the team, and this is something that you got to do as a leader. And, reached out, had the conversation, yeah. There's obviously been, you know, much conversation about Draymond, you know, going back to obviously the preseason incident. Um, even postseason, they were pretty adamant that they felt like it really impacted what went on last season. Uh, what is your just general perspective on how much of an impact the Draymond punch had on last season and, and how is it left now with, with him? And, and yeah. Him? yeah, I mean, um, we're in Washington now. You know, playing with Kuz, great duo. Um, being able to really flourish, you know, expand your game uh, and help, like I said, a new team, lead an entire group of guys. Uh, it's a challenge that we're up for. You know, we got a new front office and there's a lot of people that's invested, you know, and um, everybody is locked in, wants to be here uh, and start something that we can have that can be special. Hey, Jordan, on a positive note, a lot of the Wizards fans are very excited. Yeah. You brought up rejuvenation. Um, to this DMV area. Right, what's the yeah. message for those fans? Yeah, man. First of all, shout out to the DMV. Shout out to the district. Um, been kind of just paying attention to the fan base. You mm -hmm. know, it's a lot of excitement and uh, a lot of people are welcoming me. You know, and I think they're really excited about the duo, the electricity that we have. Um, you know, just coming out there, get a new energy. And uh, like I said, we really have a chance to do something special. You know, we're locked in. Everybody's locked in. Front office, um, coaches, players. We've got a great group of young guys. And um, DC should be excited. And then you went from a splash bro to a splash mo. Yeah. And one of the young say it again, kids say it again. from a splash bro to a splash mo. Yeah, right. That's lingo for the DMV. I'm hip. And one of the young men said Wolverine. Yeah. Because you're from Michigan. Yeah. You wore yellow. Yeah. Um, you been through adversity, but came out stronger. Yeah. The Wolverine character. Yeah. Uh, what does that nickname mean to you? Knowing young kids have given you a nickname and already yeah. hold you up to a high yeah. standard. Uh, it's my first time hearing it, but I like it. It's awesome. Resilience, um, relentlessness. There you go. Um, being able just to lock in and rise up to any occasion, any challenge. Um, you know, and be a leader, you know, which is something that's uh, ferocious about an individual, a personality, being able to overcome challenges, mm -hmm. um, but it all makes you better. You know, a lot of the people who have had um, a lot of success never had easy paths, easy roads. Everything comes with challenges and, and learning and growing. So I think we're all excited for that and uh, it'll be a special opportunity. Are you ready to be like a face of a franchise? And what does that kind of entail or change for you? Um, this is stuff that you dream about as a kid, you know? being able to be the face of the franchise, um, get people invested, get the city invested, you know, get people to come out, come to the games, um, kind of build something and build an empire, cherish everything, uh, really submerge yourself into the culture. It's awesome. Um, I was able to uh, learn a lot of my first four years in the league at a very, very high level. Um, and I'm appreciative, thankful of that. Um, and you take that knowledge, you take the things that you learn and you apply it to a new situation, um, a new team, and um, being a leader and it comes with challenges, you know, but being able to rise to the occasion is uh, something that I've always done. Jordan, what, if the, what did Winger and Dawkins talk to you about in terms of how they plan to build this thing and how they plan to get this thing better? Yeah, um, well, it's it's amazing that we got Kuz back. Um, that's really huge for us. Us two having the championship experience that we have, him coming from the Lakers, winning the ring, uh, winning the ring in Golden State. Um, and we have a lot of young guys who are, who are ready, who are talented. We have work ethic. You know, we have a lot of people who want to compete. And I think that's something that's extremely exciting, not only for our team, but for the city, for the fan base. Um, 
fight, we're gonna fight, we're gonna play, we're gonna fight hard, night in, night out, but um, just leading with the knowledge that I have, you know. Um, you're not doing it by yourself. You know, everybody's in it together, and um, we're all ready to build an amazing culture. I was gonna say, everybody uses that word culture, yeah. and, and the Wizards haven't really had one for a very yeah. long time. Yeah. So how do you start to establish something that hasn't been there before? Yeah, well, it's a beauty, you know, being able to start from scratch, essentially, and, um, apply what you know, you know. Um, and we're all coming from dis different places. Linger's coming from uh, Cliff's Lewis coming from Thunder. You know, being able just to collectively, as a unit, as a team, apply what we know from all of our different uh, organizations, situations, mm -hmm. and uh, bring that to a new team, to a new culture. That's the beauty within it. That's what we love to do. And um, I think that's why we're all so bought in and excited for the, for the future. So when you were asked about, the, about last season, you said we're in D.C. now. Yeah. Um, do you think that the only way to kind of move on from the preseason incident was to kind of get out of that Y'all wanted to ask these questions. I like that. Um, <laughs> repeat it. I'm sorry. I wasn't even really listening. Um, do you feel like the only it it came down to the only way to kind of move on from the preseason incident was one of what are you you were Draymond? Yeah. Right now. Um, I don't know if that was it. I wasn't behind the scenes. You know, I was just the one who got the call. And um, I said this before. Like, I am a child of God. You know, and being able to live the life that you do. Um, be appreciative, thankful, change lives, not only mine, but others. In the grand scheme of things, that's really all it's about. You know, basketball is amazing, and, and, and you get to hoop and have fun and um, have an impact on the youth and other people. Jordan. Um, but being able to do that and lock in and um, have a fresh new start, you know, not only for me, but just for you know, everybody in general, it's awesome. It's cool. And, um, you get to start something that, uh, that you always wanted to do as a kid. We've seen you when you play, you know, stars, minutes, we've seen the production. What's your ceiling in your mind if you don't have, I don't want to say like limits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I think it, the world knows the type of player that I am, the electric player, and um, the growth that I continue to have just over the course of the years, uh, each and every year, finding a way to get better. Um, there'll be more opportunity, it'll be more. Like it's just, it's just more, it's a different situation. You know, we're coming from a really good organization, a lot of great players, um, a lot of vets. You know, you're able to learn um, a lot of strategical things, mental things, you know, that now I can apply, add to my game, continue to get better, um, learn how to play with my teammates, you know. Um, it's just a lot of things that you can get better at. In terms of ceiling, I'm definitely not gonna say I have a ceiling. I think you knew that was coming. Yeah. Um, but you know, just find ways to get better each and every day. But it's awesome now because um, you get to lead an entire new culture. You know, and a lot of different guys and bring the work ethic um, that I'm known for. Um, I think that the world knows me by and just apply that to our team. Jordan, how did playing alongside uh, Jordan? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I played by Steph myself. Yeah. Alongside yeah. Stephen, Stephen Clay, um, yeah. evolve your game or help you elevate it. Yeah. The next um, well, those are the two greatest shooters of all time, in my opinion, personally. And it's just things that you learn in practice, in the game, on the road, um, that you wouldn't be able to learn not being in the mix, you know? And I'm thankful for that, grateful for that. And, um, you learn, you apply it to what you, your skill set, um, the things you want to be able to be good at. Um, also, built a relationship to where I can ask them. You know, I can text. Stuff, I can text Clay, I can call them um, and just have a conversation. You know? So that doesn't leave, that doesn't go anywhere. Um, if anything, I just I just know the plays that they run. And, and the split actions and the high ball screen, so competitive advantage. Kuzma said word. that um, he thought you two have a lot of similarities in terms of being traded, um, playing with all-time greats. Have you two had a chance to talk and you know think about yeah. what you're going to do on the court together? Yeah, um, me, me and Kuz have talked a couple times uh, prior to the whole um, new move, a new situation. And, um, we have a same agency, mutual agency. And Kuz is a dynamic player. You, know, you can see that he can pass, he can dribble, he can score, he can facilitate. Um, and being able just to play along some, alongside somebody uh, with his skill talent would be awesome. A lot, unlock him, try to get him ways to um, really flourish also, continue to get better, and uh, we're going to push each other. You know, we're going to push our team, we're going to push everybody, and um, I don't think there's a level or a ceiling that we can reach. And you were able to design, you know, you earned a life changing contract with Willie Golden State, and, you know, that comes with you know, being under a microscope and, and all that. Did, 
was everything that happened with that and after that, was, was it easier or harder than you thought to kind of get through every little thing that you did, you know, on the court, off the court, stuff like that? I'm sorry, uh, what do you mean? Like, you're under a microscope, you know, right. you have a bad game, everyone thinks. Yeah. You know, you have a good game, you're really great yeah. Is it Was it easier or harder than maybe you thought to go through that kind of scrutiny with the white shirt contract and the incident later? It's what we signed up for. It's probably the best answer I can give you. I mean, I think we know it's going to come. Um, the more criticism you have, it must mean that you're doing something right, you know? Um, there it is. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Have you used the game on? There's a lot of young guys that, you know, look at you as their bet, you know, last year. How do you feel about Ryan, too, and also Patrick Baldwin? Yeah. The two guys that you play with that are yeah. really good, I feel like they're yeah. selling this high, too, as well. Yeah. Um, well, Les has been, he's been hooping, as you guys can all see, first and foremost. Shout out to Les. Um, Really good to see him get the opportunity to kind of, you know, show his skill set. You know, he puts in a lot of hard work, night in and night out. Um, and we really spent a lot of time together. So just to see him get the opportunity and show the world what he's capable of is awesome. Uh, same thing with Ryan and Pat. You know, I'm so excited to have them over there. Um, their work ethic, um, they're young. They have so much upside and potential and they're willing to learn, right? So being able to get these guys who um, can get on the court, you know, who can fight for minutes um, and really evolve with real game time, you know, is something that, uh, it's huge, you know. And it'll be effective for both of them, and I'm able that I'm able. I'm excited that I'm able to still help them, kind of guide them, um, still build the relationship that we have. Those guys are special, you know. And, um, it'll be awesome to kind of see them uh, get the real opportunity to play this year. Hey, Jordan, when it was reported that you were coming to the Wizards, yeah. a lot of Dub Nation fans said, "Take care, Jordan." Yeah. Um, what's a message for those fans that was with you at Santa Cruz? Yeah. As you won a championship, what's yeah. a, just a, a parting message? Yeah. yeah. Well, the Bay Area. Um, I'm forever grateful and forever thankful. Um, we had an amazing run. Uh, being able just to get a championship, especially in year three, is uh, very uncommon, and I heard of it. Uh, we did it at a high level, so um, they know where my heart resides with them. Uh, it's only and it's always love for the Bay Area. Um, you know, and uh, I'm appreciative of that for sure. Appreciate sure. my dog. Kyle yeah. said, sorry, Kyle said that he didn't see a championship for you guys this year, but what are your goals for the team this year um, in this first season of Blizzards? To build a championship culture. That's what it is. I mean, you, you, you're not going to win it every year, right? Um, you don't know when you're going to win it, but the things that you can do is apply what you have learned um, and things that you think will be helpful to, to start the foundation, the right foundation, the right culture um, to get to where we want to go. What did you learn from stuff about what it takes to be a good leader on the team? Um, leading your own way. Leading your own way. I think that's something that was really special to see about Steph um, is because – you don't have to do it a specific way. There isn't a specific algorithm or program to do it. Um, you can use your individuality, you know, um, who you are, and just kind of just naturally let that flow, let that guide. And um, I think that was uh, something that was special that he did. When you, when you think about, I mean, you've had a pretty packed four years. Yeah. I mean, pandemic, you have a championship. It was definitely cracking. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Do you feel like a... A youngster, do you, does that make you feel more like an OG since you've been here so much? Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure. I compare it to my my pops. I'm calling my pops old, and he probably like 50 boys, so I'm definitely young. I'm going to just stay on the young side. What did you learn about yourself in this in this last postseason, especially when you compare it to the first one? Um, it's exciting to play in the playoffs. That's something that I was able to really just to feel that it's cool. Got my second playoff experience, and um, it'll be a it'll be a, a really good fighting challenge to get back to where we want to go and get back to playing at that level. I think that's something that um, not only myself but you know Kuz and you know, other guys with tough experience are, are willing to do. Are you yeah. first in DC media get 90 seconds. Or more? I don't know. He got some good questions right away, so he might get more than 90 seconds. But we'll see. I might have to keep that. I like that. No, no, no. no, no. I might have to keep that. I don't know. We're going to have to see. For 90 seconds. They have, I, got a nine, I don't even got a 90 second room, but we don't be at the, what is it, the podium? Yeah. Uh, they are trying, we'll be there all day to you let them ask questions. So you got to get out fast sometimes. You got to mix it up. Do you feel like your career needed the opportunity to start and shoot as much as you're probably going to be able to shoot next year, considering if you went back to the Warriors, probably um, the same role. I think I take pride in being able to kind of not necessarily be a chameleon, but adapt to whatever situation, whatever role. Um, I think something that was clear was uh, my role fluctuated uh, just a lot over the course of the time, you know, um, and you find ways to just 
be effective and make it work. You know, so uh, whatever the opportunity is presented, whatever I'm needed or called to do, I feel like I've shown um, that I'm able to do it in any situation, you know, whatever opportunity presents itself. And um, luckily, it'll be a big one over here, which is cool. And uh, everybody just should definitely be excited. Last one for me on them. Uh, how do you just feel like it was left? Like, do you feel good about how it was left with the Warriors? Um, I mean, it's an amazing energy, and it's a, a great new situation we got going on right now. Um, like, cool signing back, um, which is dope. Uh, we're excited for the future um, of D.C. And, uh, we got a really good group of guys, you know, and just being able to just go out there and fight night and night out, have some fun and electricity would be done. You reached out to Bilal Kouabali after he got drafted, I guess. What motivated that, and are you looking forward to making taking a more leadership role with yeah. this team? Yeah, yeah. Um, you just want to start a, start with the right impact, you know. Um, he was our drafted this year, and um, he's extremely talented. He has a lot of potential, um, and I'm just excited to play with him, you know, give him some insight with some things if he, you know, if he asks questions. We're all in it together now, and it's awesome to kind of share what I've learned. And um, really good for Cruz to kind of have him flourish under his wing, and it'll uh, it'll be exciting. Whether it's teammates, coaches, front office, did you have any prior connections with anybody in the organization now? Previously, um, connections, no, no. Um, other than having the relationship that I have with Cruz and um, a couple other a couple other people, me and I want to say me and Gaff were in the same class coming out of high school. So we kind of played against each other a couple times. Um, but other than that, not too many. Do you have any thoughts of uh, Danny Aldea? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, I saw that he went to the number eight. So young Kobe, that's hard. I like that. <laughs> um, but now when we play him, he's extremely gifted, talented. He can get to the good slasher, can shoot the ball, um, great size, athletic, can get to the rim. So being able to um, play alongside him on the wing, unlock him, allow him to um, just continue to grow his game, Find ways to you know build a good chemistry with him and be excited. I'm sure Lil gave you nice words of wisdom to go leaving your game. Right. How does that really mean? Uh that's like, that's my brother, so it's we just talk about normal stuff for real. Um just kinda just been chopping it up. Uh, I'll see him when I get back. Um but it really wasn't like a you know, like a whole ordeal. It was just Chopped it up with him, talked to him. I think he had another question about something completely separate. So, like, we just had normal talk. You just really don't want me to have this. I can't. Listen, <laughs> I can't give it to you. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Slater knows that. Everybody knows. Did you? You are some of the best creators. Oh, you're good. No, good, good. Uh, like He's going to ask a good question out here. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel like you have some of the best creativity in the league, in terms of, especially with your counters. You yeah. know, you got like the between the legs ripped off, yeah. behind the backs, yeah, 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 too. Yeah. Um, how do you feel like your game has grown from the start of when you first came into the league until now? Yeah. Um, I think I'm able to, I was able to put in a lot of hard work from a lot of different. Well, you're coming from a great offense with great players, great shooters, so I was able to take a little bit of pieces from a lot of people. Wiggs is on the wing, um, shooting from Steph, um, playmaker from Steph, shooting from Clay. Um, it's just so much that I was able to learn from. While still applying that to my game, find a ways to get better. Um, but having the confidence to go out there and just play, you know, um, especially in the system that we were in. I think that was a bit unusual, you know, especially having uh, somebody so young kind of flourish in the, the system and now being able to come over to D.C. And, um, even have more of an opportunity just to show the creativity. Um, it's just natural though, you know, just try to find ways to make plays for my teammates. You know, I don't know how that's gonna look, um, what moves are gonna be made, um, but being able just to have the freedom uh, to play my game, especially in both situations, both systems, uh, it would be cool. So uh, I'll definitely have my eyes out for sure. Yes, sir, my boy. Good.